The Asian Development Bank and the leading Asia's private infrastructure fund signed an 18.7 million US dollar loan with Saramsang Power Corporation and Tenungil Construction to build, operate and maintain a 15 megawatt solar power plant supplying electricity to Mongolia's central grid system. The solar power plant is located in the Hushik Valley, Ichito province, Sirgitinso. It will supply electricity to the central energy system, which delivers power to an area counting over 80% of the country's energy demand. The solar project will generate clean electricity totaling 22.3 gigawatt hours annually in Mongolia, while lowering the country's carbon emissions by 26,400 tons per year. It will help the government increase the share of renewable energy in total installed capacity from 12% in 2017 to a targeted 20% of 2023 and 30% by 2030. Shifting to cleaner energy sources will also reduce electricity imports, improve Mongolia's energy security and mitigate air pollution. Uh, why did ADB decide to fund this project? Why is it important? So, I'm uh, very pleased to, to be here today. It's a very important project for us and I think also for Mongolia. Uh, I came here just over a year ago, in January 2018, and at that time we were looking for good projects to work on. Uh, we are very interested in anything that has a climate change and renewable energy aspect to it. Uh, this was one of the projects that was uh, a potential candidate at that time. And then my team started talking to the sponsors, the uh, Thai and the Japanese and the Mongolian sponsors. And we told them about what we could offer in terms of financing, that we could uh, basically help get all of the debt financing for this project. And uh, so we have uh, happily been able to work with them over the last 12 months. The financing is uh, signed and we brought a full debt financing solution for this project uh, from ourselves as ADB and also from the Japanese government from JICA under some money that we manage under something called the LEAP Fund. Now why is this project in important? Uh, it's strange but every time I come to uh, Lambatour the weather is always beautiful and I never see the smog that everybody talks about but of course it is a serious issue so uh, the emissions from the existing coal-fired power projects are serious. Uh, Mongolia is heavily reliant upon coal-fired power. I think 90% of the power generation comes from the CHP coal-fired power projects. They do contribute to uh, greenhouse emissions uh, and to global warming. Uh, they, uh, uh, they need to be mitigated or they, uh, the overall balance of power needs to be balanced with some uh, clean uh, and renewable energy and the good thing is that Mongolia has fantastic resources for renewable energy. You have a lot of land, you have fantastic sunlight uh, and you also have good dry air and very cold air. Cold air is good for solar power projects, it makes the solar power efficient and so you have the fantastic conditions for renewable energy. That renewable energy doesn't require uh, importing any fuel. It doesn't uh, require any heavy work to extract it. It's there from the sky uh, and Mongolia can benefit from that. So the potential is there. This is one of the first steps and I think there'll be a lot of follow-in in terms of the new renewable and particularly solar projects coming into Mongolia. For ADB, uh, uh, it's the first time cooperating with private company and private sector in uh, energy, in uh, solar energy. That's correct. So that's that's correct. The first time we've done a private sector energy project. We have been present in Mongolia for quite some time. So the ADB itself, uh, our overall operations, mm. uh, I think we're the largest development bank supporter of Mongolia uh, with about 2.4 billion dollars that we've done over the last few years. On the private sector side we've done I think about 100 million dollars and that's been mainly to the financial sector so we've worked with some of the banks uh, for uh, lines of credit but also we have had a trade finance program supporting trade from Mongolia. So we've done a bit of work on the financial sector side and we would like to do more going forward, uh, but this is, you're correct, our first 
private sector energy project. But now that we've made that first step and done the first project, it becomes a lot easier to do the next projects. So I think you'll see a lot more of us in the private energy space in Mongolia over the next few years. Thank you.